Hello, Jimmy Reels here from BRP, Billet Racing Products. We're here today to tell you a little bit about the Scott Steering Stabilizer, its function and features. There are three fully adjustable circuits on the Scott Stabilizer. You have your low speed, your high speed, and your sweep settings, which are adjusted on both sides of the stabilizer. I'll go into detail on each one of these circuits. The low speed valving circuit controls your steering when you turn the bike left to right slowly. As you turn the knob in clockwise, you're closing off the circuit and restricting movement of the handlebars. By turning it all the way to a stop, you can go back. We like to set the damper at about 8 to 12 clicks out. One full revolution of the knob is 8 d or 8 clicks. So I'll go one full turn, there's 8. 9, 10. I like to run my dampener about 10 clicks out from full hard on the low speed valving circuit. The high speed valving circuit is what controls quick movements of the handlebars or the wheel. It's designed to stop wheel deflection from hitting a rock or a root that would normally yank the bars out of your hands but will stop that deflection. You adjust the high speed by removing this black cover and with a Flathead screwdriver, you can turn your high speed valve clockwise to close the circuit off altogether. The Scott stabilizer comes set at one turn from full hard, one turn out counterclockwise, and that is if it has one dot. There are some units that have no dots, and you set the high speed at one and a half turns out. Understand that the low speed and the high speed circuit are related in such a way that if you run your low speed too stiff, you basically nullify the high speed circuit because the dampener will not achieve the speed it needs to activate the high speed circuit or collapse the spring in the high speed. So don't run your low speed too stiff because you're nullifying the high speed and you're taking away the feature uh, or the functionality of a separate low speed and high speed valving circuit. I would like to point out that the high speed circuit is very sensitive to adjustment. So be very careful when you adjust this. Only adjust it an eighth turn at a time, depending on what you, your desired settings are. Um, if you're a motocrosser or a guy that wants to scrub the face off uh, a jump, you may want to back off on your high speed, but again, back off only an eighth of a turn, maybe a quarter of a turn, just so you do not get that restriction in your handlebars while trying to scrub the face of a jump. There's a sweep setting on the side of the Scott stabilizer. That is adjusted by turning this little slotted screw or valve um, in either direction. There's a little chamfer that tells you what position the sweep is set at. There are four settings. There's the nine o'clock setting, which it's in right now, which the dampener will dampen to 17 degrees from center line out, and then it releases. Then your next setting is at 12 o'clock, which is what it comes factory set from Scott's. The 12 o'clock setting goes to 22 degrees and then releases. The three o'clock setting goes 27 degrees and releases. And then the six o'clock setting dampens all the way to the end of the uh, dampener's range. We personally like to run the Scott stabilizer at 12 o'clock. I'll illustrate how to adjust this very easily with a screwdriver. You can turn it. It will continue to turn as much as you need. It doesn't loosen or tighten. You just set it. There's a tiny chamfer there. It's set at 12 o'clock. This setting controls the right side of your steering and then there is the left side on the other side of the stabilizer. Understand that if you set the stabilizer at, like this right now is set at nine o'clock, if you want to set this one at nine o'clock, it is as you face it. So be sure that they are both set at nine o'clock as you face the stabilizer. Another great feature about the Scott stabilizer is that a Scott's will dampen from center line out to its release point or wherever we set the sweep settings on the side of the stabilizer but then it's free to center. It has no dampening or no restriction back to center line. From center line out to the release point on the other side, it dampens, but again, free to center. That is indicative of a off-road stabilizer, which is what we normally sell here at BRP. Understand that there is an off-road stabilizer and a road bike stabilizer. 
A road bike stabilizer will have an R engraved in the top of the lid. The road bike stabilizer dampens in both directions. It is not free to center. So beware of that. I know a lot of people will buy stabilizers online or off of eBay and they don't realize that they've bought a road bike dampener and the dampener dampens in both directions and that's not very uh, functional for off-road riding. So be sure that you don't mount a road bike dampener on your dirt bike. Most of the time a Scott stabilizer comes with a pointer which is still very easy to adjust but you'll see that in our illustration the Scott stabilizer we've been showing you comes with an oversized knob. All stabilizers that come from BRP are sold with an oversized knob. It makes adjustments a little bit easier and quicker while riding or on the trail. Thank you.